My name is Albert Nzamukwereka. My name is Albert Nzamukwereka. I'm the country program coordinator for Survivor Corps. Uh, I started this with this position from October 19, uh, October 2008. That's when I started working for Survivor Corps in Uganda. Uh, the reason why I have accepted and chosen to work for Survivor Corps is because I'm part of the people who have been affected by the 1994 genocide. I'm not myself that a survivor, but uh, a big family of my, a big members of my family have been killed during the genocide. And it happened that right away after 1994, I was, um, I came back from where I was living as a refugee in DRC and I found that the whole country has been decimated. So uh, it affected me a lot. I was during that time 15 year old and uh, after seeing the vision of Survivor Corps and uh, the objectives, I decided to join the network because I realized that it is very important to associate with other survivors around the world and survivor core core object core mission was to bring together all survivors and learn from, so they can learn from one another and help one another to overcome conflict and cycle of violence by becoming stronger by being empowered and at the end to make sure they give back so i found this methodology very special and they appropriate to a country like Rwanda and to a person like myself who has had a background of working for support by working for supporting vulnerable people and uh, survivors in particular. Before I joined Survivor Corps, I was involved in other initiatives like uh, I am part of the people who co-founded a, a youth based organization called Never Again Rwanda. I worked for a Dutch organization called La Benevolencia Rwanda, which was teaching the people uh, how mass violence, violence evolves and how it can be prevented. So I was there and that's why I saw that Survivor Corps had brought something special of um, something special which I had not been exposed to, and which I didn't know before, which is peer support. With Survivor Corps I learned that Survivors are more equipped to help other survivors than any, any, any other group because they have been themselves in the process of trauma. They have faced uh, genocide. So once they recover, they are the best people who can help other survivors to recover and achieve sustainable peace and development. So that's why I decided to join Survivor Corps. And so far, slowly and slowly, uh, Survivor Core Rwanda is achieving its objective, specifically in Rwanda we are working with, we have seven partners, uh, some are genocide uh, associations and organizations, and other, uh, others are victims from all kinds, landmine victims, last ammunition victims, and other disabled people. So the main partners of Survivor Core are Ibuka, uh, Huka, which is an association of counselors dealing, dealing with trauma, uh, IRG Tij, which is a, a government body working to recover, working to reintegrate ex-convicts, and then we have uh, ASRG Mhore. We have also the Commission for Fighting Genocide and the National Commission for Unity and Reconciliation. So these are our main partners. And uh, as you know, Survivor Corps does not implement activity, but we work through partners. And uh, so far, most of our partners have at least sent one, one or two people in our trainings on peer support. So we have had two major trainings. One was a, a leadership training. So we trained the CEOs and the head of organizations on peer support. And very recently, in May, we trained um, during a training of trainers, uh, people who are already counselors and we are expecting them to go in this all communities of Rwanda and train other people in peer support so peer support can be spread out around the country 
as a tool to help a full recovery from trauma and the cycle of violence. Thank you.